Mastering Everyday English. Understanding Blow Drying Hair. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a very common phrase, blow drying hair. Whether you're at a salon or just talking about daily routines, this phrase pops up quite often. So, let's get straight into unraveling its meaning and usage. Blow drying hair refers to the process of drying your hair after a wash using a device called a hair dryer or blow dryer. This electric device blows out warm or hot air to accelerate the water evaporation from your hair, thus drying it. It's a common activity in many people's daily grooming routines, especially in Western cultures. A hair dryer is a handheld electrical device. It typically has three key elements, a heating element, a fan, and various control switches. The fan blows air past the heating element, warming it up, and this warm air is directed towards wet hair to dry it. Modern hair dryers come with different settings for temperature and airflow speed, allowing customization based on hair type and styling needs. Blow drying hair involves several steps. 1. Wash and towel dry. Hair is usually shampooed and conditioned first, then gently towel dried. 2. Prep your hair. Apply a heat protectant to minimize heat damage. 3. Sectioning. Divide hair into sections for even drying. 4. The drying. Hold the dryer about 6 inches away from hair and move it around continuously. 5. Styling. Use a brush to style as you dry, or add styling products afterward. Keep the dryer moving. To avoid heat damage, don't focus the dryer on one spot for too long. Use the right attachment. Use a concentrator nozzle for straight styles, or a diffuser for curly hair. Cool air setting. Finish with a blast of cool air to set the style and add shine. And that's all about blow drying hair. This phrase is much more than just a grooming term. It's a part of daily conversations about personal care and styling. We hope this video has been informative and helps you confidently use this phrase in your English conversations. Don't forget to practice and see you in our next video.